Presenting another in the series of The Wonderful World Tomorrow. Brought to you with the compliments of the Universal Peace Federation, Georgetown, Guyana. And I'm your host, Haji Dr. Ocean Khan. In association with Reverend Dr. Ronald McGarrell, General Secretary of the Universal Peace Federation, Georgetown, Guyana. Forgiveness. If men only understand all the emptiness and aching of the sleeping and the waking, of the souls they judge so blindly, of the hearts they pierce unkindly, they, with gentler words and feelings, would apply the balm of healing. If they only Created understood with free version for non-commercial kindness, use. nobler ever than revenge. William Shakespeare, Old England. Forgiveness, revenge, jealousy, envy. Let us contemplate a little on this. The remembering of injuries is spiritual darkness. The fostering of resentment is spiritual suicide. The resort to the spirit and practice of forgiveness is the beginning of enlightenment. It is also the beginning of peace and happiness. There is no rest for him who broods over slights and injuries and wrongs. No quiet repose of mind for him who feels that he has been unjustly treated and who schemes how best to act. For the discomfiture of his enemy. How can happiness dwell in the heart that is so disturbed by ill will? Do birds resort to a burning bush wherein to build and sing? Neither can happiness inhabit in that breast that is a flame with burning thoughts created with free version for non-commercial use can wisdom come and dwell with such folly resides revenge seems sweet only to the mind that is unacquainted with the spirit of forgiveness but when the sweetness of forgiveness is tasted then the extreme bitterness of revenge is known Revenge seems to lead to happiness. That those who are involved in the darkness of passion. But when the violence of passion is abundant and the mildness of forgiveness is resorted to, then it is seen that revenge leads to suffering. Resentment, jealousies, revenge. Envies are viruses which eats into the very vitals of the mind and poisons the entire spiritual being. Resentment, jealousies, revenge are mental fevers which burns up the wholesome energies of the mind. And taking offense is a form of moral sickness which saps the healthy flow of kindness and goodwill and from which men and women should seek to be delivered by abandoning them. The unforgiving and resentful spirit is a source of great suffering and sorrow and he who harbors and encourages it, who does not overcome and abandon it, forfeits much blessedness and does not obtain any measure of true enlightenment. To be hard-hearted and full of jealousies and unforgiveness is to suffer, is to be deprived of light and comfort 
On the contrary, to be tender-hearted is to be serenely glad, is to receive light and be well comforted. It will seem strange that to many to be told that the hard-hearted are unforgiving, the envious suffer most, yet it is profoundly true. For not only do they, by the law of attraction, draw to themselves the revengeful passions they put out in other people, but their hardness of heart itself is a continual created with free version for non-commercial use. Every time a man hardens his heart on a pen, his fellow being. He inflicts upon himself five kinds of suffering, namely the suffering of loss of love, the suffering of lost communion and fellowship, the suffering of a troubled and confused mind, the suffering of wounded passion and pride, and the suffering of punishment inflicted by others. Created with free version for non-commercial use. Where is every act of forgiveness? And peace in the heart brings to the doer five kinds of blessedness. The blessedness of love, the blessedness of increased communion and fellowship, the blessedness of a calm and peaceful mind, the blessedness of passion stilled and pride overcome, and the blessedness of kindness and goodwill bestowed by others. Dearest friends and families around the world, we plant the seeds of pain through forgiveness and jealousies. We plant the seeds of failures. We plant the seeds of lack of success and peace of mind and peace of heart. But we also as you created with free capacity, version for non-commercial use to plant the seeds of forgiveness and love and joy and goodwill seeds that will bear and blossom fruits of more forgiveness and the laws of attraction will send on to us more and more love and more and more peace onto us so become a better a more wonderful world full of citizens for a better a more positive, a more wonderful world tomorrow. Let us all strive, as this message says, to build, to be a better me, a better you, a better world. This message is brought to you with the compliments of the Universal Peace Federation, Georgetown, Guyana. And I'm your host, Haji Roshan Khan.